This is Gregory from Minneapolis. Does Skip Bayless cook? No, he does not cook. I do come from a long line of cooks, and I was the one and only who rebelled. I was the black sheep of my cooking family. My father, all through my childhood, got up at 4 o'clock in the morning, which now, in my world, seems kind of late. I get up at 2 o'clock. But my father always got up at 4 to go cook the ribs for the little barbecue joint he owned and operated on the south side of Oklahoma City. My little brother, Rick, two years younger than me, so to speak, ate up going with my father to work to help him cook. Rick used that little barbecue joint as a springboard to stardom as one of America's top chefs. Winner of the prestigious James Beard Award, not only for best chef, excuse me, best chef, but also for best restaurant. That being the Topo Labampo Room in Chicago, Obama's favorite restaurant. I'm very proud of my brother, though I am not close with him. My father forced me to work at the little barbecue joint called the Hickory House all the way up through high school. I mostly cleaned off tables and swept the floor. But he did force me to quote unquote, uh, quote unquote cook. It was called preparation work. I guess it's the closest I ever came to cooking. So one morning, while I was hating my job, I was mindlessly washing and then chopping up green peppers, whole green peppers. Looked like apples, but they were green peppers. I would wash them, then I would chop them in two, then I would chop them into bits with a giant butcher knife. You know what's coming. One of the green peppers was wet because I just washed it. And I wasn't thinking, I wasn't concentrating, I was thinking about basketball. The knife slipped and I laid open my index finger all the way to the bone. I didn't say a word. I walked straight into my father's office. We did not get along. And I said, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to take me to the emergency room. He was furious. He did not have time to take me to the emergency room because we were about to open for lunch at 11 a.m. That scar still reminds me why I don't cook. I chose my wife, Ernestine, in large part because she does not cook. Even though of late, she's kind of gotten into making soups from scratch. A lentil soup is really good. And a pea soup. It's, it's even better. But that's it. That's the extent. Mostly, we let the experts cook for us, the Rick Baylesses of the world. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.